Hi, we are at the World Bank net side. CO2 emissions, metric tons per capita, Spain. Data for up to 1990 are sourced from Carbon Dioxide Information Analysis Center, Environment and Science Division, Oak Ridge National Laboratory, Tennessee, United States. Data from 1990 are CAIT data, Climate Watch 2020, GHG emissions, Washington, D.C., World Resources Institute available at Climate Watch org emissions, blah, blah, blah. So, obviously, they rose. I don't care too much about the actuality of those data here or how this works. I just wanted to show, sorry for whistling again. Usually I don't whistle, I don't know, whistling for all of you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you can check this if you want to. I wanted to show you something else too. Or however you pronounce that. Settled down a few hours back. Now there's no lava flows. There's just a little bit of gas there coming out. And some smoke and ash. How many metric tons per person that might be? If there is any restrictions according to the IPCC report for carbon dioxide, like of like whatever country, you can pollute the world more than that, otherwise you have to pay more taxes. How do you do that? Like with this kind of volcano, or for example, you know? <coughs> there might be quite much of this stuff coming out there. And it's basically unstoppable. You just, you can't just turn it off. Now, obviously now, now there's something going on there. After two hours or something of quiet, there seems to be some action going on. Yeah, I was about to show I was about to show you something else too, but that's now more interesting. <laughs> I don't anyway get any money from that. That's my hobby. Yeah, there's no sound anymore. That's a pity. I love the rumbling. I experienced once an earthquake, it was 4.4 .4 or something. And I heard it, like really, because it was silent where we were. Yeah, I take the risk and I show you something in the meanwhile. This thing, geochemical monitoring, Cumbreveja, La Palma. July 1st, August 1st, September 1st. They don't tell what year. But they tell you that because CO2 is the major gas species after water vapor in both volcanic fluids and magmas. And is an effect effective tracer of subsurface magnet degassing diffuse CO2 emissions that volcanoes have played an important role in volcano monitoring. Might be really expensive to be a part of the IPCC. But let's go back to the volcano. At least for a moment. Yeah, there's a helicopter flying over the house. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, but there's obviously now something going on. I guess that's the one of the new small winds which started to be active right now. I will put the links below to the stuff I showed you. Uh, yeah, one thing I wanted to tell you. You're watching at this volcano, or 
about this this region of the island. That's a small part of the whole island. The ocean is to the right. So you are basically in a way watching south. Okay. Which means that all the things that you see behind here. Now it's not that well visible. There's a mountain range behind there. You can see the trees and stuff. That's basically the thing what everybody fears could slide into the ocean. Just say, if you haven't noticed yet what you are looking at. So if those trees start to move from left to right, you understand that there's something big going on. Yeah, I leave it here. I have to watch that. Thanks. Bye.